Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Play Supermarket Simulator. So we're starting at the the menu screen now. I'm actually not in game, uh, but there was an update. There was a major update. So I'm just gonna read the patch notes right now. So from what I can see, it's added ordering, ordering products via tablet. And from the image, it looks like one of those pricing guns. I can't really show it like this. <laughs> we'll probably see it in game, but apparently you have a tablet now and you can scan and uh, order products from there, this is actually fairly great. Uh, also added customers asking for help at self-checkout. That's kind of a nerf to self-checkout, but I like it. Uh, increased ordering limit to 50. Uh, added inventory information to the market app when purchasing products. Uh, I don't know the difference, to be quite honest. It all looks the same. Uh, added pricing app to control all the pricings and see the price chain's history. I like that. There's more! Added two re extra restockers. Added restockers prioritizing boxes with the least amount of products on the floor, too. Added a detailed setting screen, advanced graphics, running background, auto settings, audio settings, etc. Uh, added four new objectives for customization and tablet. I don't know what that means. Uh, and added skipping the animation on the daily stati statistics screen by tapping anywhere. Uh, and then there were some bug fixes, which I don't see anything that stands out. Oh, paying bills, not updating money. There you go. That one's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. There apparently was a major update today. I was actually going to start today's episode by like talking about the game. Name your store. Never. <laughs> not yet. Because uh, we were kind of stagnated a little bit, right? Our customers aren't really growing. And it's apparently based off of your uh, shop level, your store level, which is interesting. So I'm assuming based on your store level, it is it gives you like a min and a max number of customers you can have every day, and you get an average, right? Because sometimes we get 40, sometimes we get 45. So as of right now, I'm assuming those are the ranges because we've never gotten higher than 45. But then again, I don't know for sure, right? Oh man, I did not restock fucking anything, I think, at the end of the last episode. Uh, before I saw that update, I was thinking maybe we wait for a few more updates to see if there anything changes with the store uh, or the sim well, with the game, like maybe adding a promotion or they adjust how things grow. Because, you know, I'm having fun with it, still having fun with it. It's just one of those things where, like, I feel like we're not growing, which is... That's not a good feeling, to be quite honest. When you feel like you aren't making any progress after days upon days of stuff. Tools. Tablet. Uh, I guess I am going to buy that. Because why wouldn't I buy that? Where is it? Hello? Is that it? Fucking better not be. Um... T -t Tablet? T Tablet, uh, settings. Gameplay... I mean, it was already running in background when I was out of it, so I don't know the difference. Oh, oh, you know what? When I tab out sometimes, like after the end of the episode, in, when you're in-game, not the menu, it pauses, so that's fine. Um, all right. They should add a streamer mode so I can use those speakers. How do I use the tablet, though? Oh, there we go, tab. Ooh, okay. So add to cart, E to purchase. Okay. So how about this then? We come over here. We'll do it this way, right? We have one orange juice. We have no salt. We'll buy two of these. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. And then... Oh, this is going to be so much easier. One of those... I think they're full up on the counter, right? Yeah. 
Two of these, two of these. This isn't gonna be perfect, mind you. Oh man, we have so many. You said 50, right? All right, this is gonna, how much is this gonna cost? A lot. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be a ton. But hey, 50 is pretty good. Wow, this is actually gonna make things actually super easier. Do I have enough money for this? Full uh, purchase. Oh, hey, it's a lot cleaner. That is a lot cleaner. My god. How much money do I have? I have 52, uh, $522. That's actually not that bad. That's not that bad. Um, okay, I'm actually going to help this guy stock up, and then we'll open our store. All right, so I ordered too much of some stuff, but that's fine. It's all right. We're all stocked up. Let's check out the pricing, right? So, right, Jesus Christ. So, I, I don't even know if I did anything. <sighs> so, okay. Since the customers are based on store level and not, like, my brilliant business practices, which I'm assuming at some point that will change, right? That the prices or something or other will influence how many customers come. Then it might still even be a thing right now, but it's so just not noticeable that it doesn't seem like it actually does anything. Right? I don't know. Because when we first changed... No, actually, when we first got a new self-checkout, uh, uh, we got, like, 45 customers. And then that was it. And that was it. Then we went back to, like, 41 and 40, 42. Shit like that. So when I was mentioning, like, putting this on hold until there's a few more updates, uh, I, it wouldn't be the end of simulators. Because I might just jump to the trading card store simulator. Because uh, that seems pretty uh, pretty fun. I watched a video of it the other day. Not not too in-depth. It was just the, like the first few days. And it does follow a lot of the same stuff that Supermarket Simulator follows. I'm assuming there's like some sort of... <laughs> like, I don't know, asset pack. Including some of the programming and placing stuff that you can buy. Uh, might even just be like store assets or something, uh, but it's very similar in that regard. But there's a lot of cool stuff that's there as well, um, and also slightly more active. It looks like with a few more different things that uh, can go uh, go awry or funzy in it. So I would probably like to check that out at some point. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see how this goes. I might do another episode after this just to see. Let me know what you think in the comments too, because. We, we have kind of stagnated in this uh, simulator. We're not really doing anything too much different every time. We have bought some stuff, but right now I'm kind of like at my limit uh, with what I can do. Even I could hire another stalker or like even get another self checkout. That might help a little bit. But another stalker probably would help a lot, but at the same time, it's we're not making much profit already. And I would like to buy more product license, of course. But, you know, simulator games are kind of just like this in the end, right? Where you just, you're just kind of doing this stuff forever until you've, oh, customization. You said you changed something? No, you didn't. Store names. 250 bucks. That's not too bad. I don't know. Should I name my store? I can name it Junez. 
Cronus Junez experience. Every day is great at my Cronus store. I don't know. You just stand there, buddy. That took a lot, by the way. So maybe another restock or would be smart to get. Because my God. <laughs> Like, I wasn't even stocking the shells. I was busy putting the stuff away in the storage room. And, like, it still took forever. Like, it took, I think, almost 10 minutes for everything to be stocked and for me to get all these boxes in the storage room. But, you know, it's, it's worth it, right, guys? Right? Why is it so dark out at 9 in the morning? Like, why is it dark in here? I think that the update where the customer asks for help at the self-checkout is a, a fantastic update. It's so realistic. <laughs> My god, the amount of time. And, you know, I don't want to talk trash about anyone. Sometimes they it just... It's not your fault at the self-checkout. Sometimes their little weighted device just doesn't work. Other times, I've watched someone scan something and put it right back in their cart, and the self-checkout's like, yo, where's that item you just scanned, dog?" <laughs> and like, I don't know why it keeps asking me this. It's like, put it on the scale, dude. Hello. Uh, help. Help? Oh, I gotta hold. Oh, you gotta make me do it for you? That's hilarious. Also seen this before. $94 purchase, though. You're welcome. And hey, you know what? That is an incentive to actually get a cashier, though they're not much better sometimes either. Again, I've been a cashier. I know it's not always our, your fault or my fault or anything like that. Sometimes people uh, suck. I guess that's a nice way of putting it. Sometimes people so my god You are buying a lot less or spending a lot less than I thought you were going to But hey, you know, you know, it's one o'clock we've made four hundred dollars That's nice many just walk into a store and like the general manager or store owner is just sitting standing at the entrance like come on in I'm not talking, I mean, I guess it is technically a small store right now, so I guess that would be much more of a thing. But still, I don't know, I don't think I've ever walked into, like, a, a grocery store and just had the general manager or store chain owner or whatever to stand there like, Please buy stuff. Please. This tab gun, though, is a fan. Fantastic, uh, fantastic little addition when it comes to ordering stuff. Because originally I was going to scan all these. I don't need to do that. I can just go scan the racks. Get a couple of things. Uh, excuse me. I mean, we'll scan these right now. Do we not have storage for these? That's weird. Honestly, I don't remember seeing these, these mozzarella ball things. So maybe. Are we out of honey already? Uh, no. Okay. Good. I'm gonna say, what the fuck? Like, we're, we're... We got a lot of customers for sure. We ain't got that many customers, I can tell you that much. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, but not too bad. Not too shabby. We made a thousand dollars so far today, and we got four more hours to go. They should really fix the walking animation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what we should do? Absolutely, is buy one of those. They must be adding more tools in the future, I would imagine. 
Unless that is gonna be the only tool in the game. That'd be kind of weird. Especially if you're gonna call it a toolbar. Uh, tuna fish? What do you got? What do you got? Is that tuna fish? Yes. No one needs any help, right? They definitely adjusted the speed on uh, the self-checkout, I can tell you that much. For sure. <laughs> still, unless they increase the speed on the cashiers, uh, is probably still better. Ah, but slower speed and having to help them from time to time. That... Might be worth getting a cashier. I don't know, it's 80 bucks a day, it's not really worth it. Now, if customers start leaving because the self-checkouts are too slow... That's something I would have to consider. So far, so good. Are we out of toilet paper? No. Only have one, though. And we're not going to be able to purchase any. <sighs> Fair enough. Oh, come on. One? Wow. You can put it back. The water. Right there. Close that right here. Hmm, you seem new. I like your hair. Yeah, oh, 95 bucks, baby! I mean, okay, so we started the day with what? $2,000? Not too bad. I have telekinetic powers, that's how I'm doing this right now. I know it's hard scanning your own product, you dick. You're gonna try to make me pay someone? I'm not paying anyone, except for Restalker Man. You good? Mmm, $74. Making money and making copies. No one's gonna get that reference. <laughs> Hurry up. I wanna go home. Almost there. Holy shit, he got it. $60, not bad. All right. 43 customers, uh, minus $53 in profits. We did buy a lot, absolutely. Though, to be fair, I feel like we totally did all right. Sugar powder, apple juice. Apple juice. I'm guessing this is the one that went down. This one? Ooh, twelve sixteen for sugar. Wouldn't buy that ever. Like straight up, no offense, like I, this might just be an American thing, but if someone was charging six dollars and fifty one cents for what looks like a generic brand spaghetti, I would not buy that. Also, my computer actually sounds like it is working overtime. That's interesting. But yeah, that's like insane. Like this pasta, maybe. If it was like some super duperly do good one, absolutely maybe. But it looks like generic pasta again, just like the cheap kind. It's 99 cents. It shouldn't be sold for more than 99 cents, pretty much. 
Again, it really depends on where you shop, sure, but still. Alright, so I bought another rack, and, uh, you know, got maybe another stalker. <laughs> it was taking forever. <laughs> it was- we're not even actually done, just so we're clear. Uh, it's still, yeah, just taking forever. So I figure, why not, right? We have the money. As long as we're not doing anything too stupid, we should be fine. But, you know, I am me, so doing something completely stupid probably will happen at some point. But we'll see. Wait, oh, really? Oh, nice! You gonna throw that away now? Great. Okay, well, there's floor, the uh, floor, yeah, store 25. <clears throat> Let's see. Licenses. Butter, cereal, chicken, french fries, pizza mix. Ugh, one sec, where are you? These are self checkouts. Uh, let's see, butter, cereal, chicken, french fries, pizza mix, potato bag. So, chicken, I'm assuming, is going to be in a refrigerator. If it's not, I should be closed down. Uh, 1100, 1950, cheese, coffee, light roast, bottled water, more eggs, more pasta, more brown sugar, tea green, and then Ron Point. I don't know what that is. Salmon, scallop. Was that fish? Steak? Veal chops? Delicious. We get crab sticks, hot sauce, ice cream, chocolate. Oh, we'll need a we'll need a freezer for that, right? Is that the only thing we need a freezer for right there? Oh, okay. I guess. Huh. I mean, Jesus Christ. So yeah, some of this stuff gets very expensive. I guess technically we don't have to buy them all. Could increase our store. But the cost for it is insane. At those store levels, I'm barely able to, like, make a profit this much. Like, this is... I've stocked up everything yesterday. So I was able to keep a good chunk of money today. Being said, I still want to buy a license. Yeah, I'm coming. See how fast this is and easy it is if you do it yourself? Amazing. Could have had your twin sister help you. She was right before. But yeah, anyways, apparently it's twin day. Yeah, so I need to buy more licenses. I could probably fit them in somewhere. Right? We don't need- I mean, we could put something right here. Probably get in the way of that refrigerator. I guess I could move the refrigerators... ...somewhere. I could also get, like, a, one of those square ones. The square displays. That they had. That might be worth it. I gotta expand the storage too at some point though. We're good for right now. Even if we need even if we buy more licenses, I have plenty of room for more racks. Why is there no toilet paper? No one buy toilet paper, please. Yeah, no shit. I saw that. Come back and get it, you dick. We have two people working, and they still miss toilet paper? I thought this was America! Oh, that actually makes more sense if it is. Uh, are we good on oil? Do I need to buy more oil? I need to buy more oil.
There's a shame in the membrane. Yeah, I know. One second. And then punch. They should add a punch option to this. Just to make sure the customers know that they don't need help on self-checkout. Okay, anything else? Coffee. Three. Why three? So we have extra. Coffee does sell a lot, so... Apparently tea's almost gone, too. Not really. Probably just do two there. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Maybe we're not gonna do that. I know we didn't have any coffee because, good lord, you'd have to be an idiot to uh, not stock that up when it's low. How are we doing on everything else? Doing pretty good. Might need to buy some more mozzarella. Remember when these guys were wearing like Coke and they actually did like a, this really fast? Petra's Farms remembers. Most because it was just last episode, but still. Can I customize these guys? Because they are they are very similar. One good? Oh, you're you seem new. And very shiny and old. Now you're buying a lot of stuff, it looks like. Three of each? My god. Don't mind me, I'm just just watching you check that out. It's pretty great. $90? You wanna go buy some more? No? Alright, how about you? Really? Really? You're gonna let her show you up like that? Wow. The youth of today, right? Three bottles of fucking Sprite? You may as well buy three bottles of bleach. It's gonna taste the same when you get home! Got $3,000, that's pretty good, huh? I don't know what to buy with it, though. A license? Okay, yeah. Smartass, you're not wrong. You could finish off the floor. <laughs> no, that's no, good. It's fine. Alright, if I can... Oh, motherfucker. I can't buy that right now. You're right. Actually, we don't know that. Actually, yes, we do. It says close after nine. Alright, it's fine. Don't complain, lady, please. I'm begging you. Like, I'm fucking begging you, alright? Just don't, just don't do it. Maybe, if you don't complain, the textures on your hair will actually look good. And you won't look like you're wearing just a plastic wig. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You son of a bitch! I swear to God! Don't ever come back! <sighs> Rude. Just rude. My god. <sighs> rent is... Not rent. Staff is expensive. $180. They're worth it, though. To be quite honest. Look at them go. Did no prices go down? I didn't see any prices going down. Is that... No, bread went down. Alright, cool. Way... And that went up. That went down. Alright, cool. My dumbass didn't fucking see that shit at all. So, Windex, rice, and bread. A weird ass song. 
406. This better be good fucking bread. Windex. Oh, rice. To 598. That better be good fucking rice. To be fair, rice does actually get kind of expensive depending on what you're buying and where you're buying it from. Open says me. All right, we. Sh Why? What the? F what happened? I don't get it, guys. What happened? How did we not have any in here? Do we just not have any in here? Man, that does not make any goddamn sense. Apparently, we just don't have it in here, huh? And you just stood there, huh? Doing nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, you're doing something. Wow, weird. Everything else is good, right? I'm I'm just assuming it was good because I looked through the window and it was pretty stacked in here. So I was like, cool, clearly we're good to go. But lo and behold, we weren't. I was going to buy a license today. God damn it. I totally... Yeah, one second. I totally blanked out on that after I was done setting everything up with everyone. Damn it. <laughs> Right, I was about to buy, like, a rack or another fridge and buy a license. I don't know what, though, because I was going to buy it when the store wasn't open, just so I wouldn't have a problem with this. I bought two of these. There's no way. Like, just no one. I wish we could consolidate this shit. I mean, I guess I could technically do that manually, huh? Oh, okay, you took it? Great. Everything else good? Spaghetti's good. Eggs are good. Yog hurt is good. All right, nice. Twinsies again. Oh shit! Well, you guys are not the same. Never mind. Brothers, maybe. Brothers from another mother. Maybe not the father, though. Yeah, I was gonna come in here and I, I was gonna purchase a license, wasn't I? And then I was gonna see what I needed. Right? I guess I could wait five more levels and get the bear one. Sell a bunch of beer, a lager, then chips and hummus and vodka, baby. Can I can I drink my own supply? I'm coming. Oh yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, cause I was thinking about trying the the swapping over to the the trading card game for a little bit. Let this one get a uh, few more updates here and there, and then come back to it. The same with the trading card game as we play that for all, probably a little while too, right? That one just got into early access, so I'm sure there'll be a few more updates here and there for a while for it. Play that for a little while as well. They're not daily series, obviously, so, you know, I don't know. Let me know what you think, because we definitely have stagnated a little bit, and yeah, I'm... Got plenty of stalkers now, and we're making money, and I want to buy another product license. But at the same time, I feel like our progression is not going so smoothly. Could take out a loan, that's true. Buy a ton of licenses and products at that point. And that would probably increase my level pretty substantially, I would imagine. I wouldn't mind just paying like I don't know, a thousand dollars for like an ad to run to put a like a base increase on my customers instead of just relying on word of mouth. And maybe the developer's thinking about that in the future. Or that maybe that just might be fucking too hard to do, right? Or they just don't want to do it, right? I don't I don't know the developer. 
Yeah, I'm coming. I'm gonna need to hire someone for self-checkout. Did you just buy one thing, lady? Your twin sister's better. Did I turn the- I did not turn the lights on. So I don't- I don't even know if that does anything, right? Would the- would the customers be like, that's too dark to shop in here? I don't know. Maybe? If I went into a grocery store, or a convenience store, or whatever, any store, and the lights were off, I'd be like, wow, this is very fucking weird. I'm not coming in here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Like, good lord. What kind of shitty run here, man? Really? Are we out of that again? What else? There we go. Honestly, probably didn't need to buy these just yet. Probably should have checked the shelf in the back first. Come on. There we go. It's fine. Everything else is doing pretty good too. That that uh the gun is very 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 helpful. That's actually ingenious. It makes sense because you know now that you when you look at it, it's literally the shit people use to buy. Yeah, one second. Uh, like do the people that go around and buy groceries. <sighs> what is it? When when you hire or pay someone at the grocery store to buy your groceries for you, right? Peapod. Something like that? I don't know if it's called that anymore. But when you see those people around the store, they have something very similar with that. Uh, obviously, this is ordering in bulk for the store itself, so I don't know if they do that at all. But... they might. I need to more, order more of these. What? Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, I didn't see the time. I mean, it makes sense, but still, I didn't see the time. I was a cereal thing, where would I be? Uh... Cereal? Where's the cereal thing? What? Wait, hold up. Am I just blind? Yeah, well, okay, yeah, you're right. I am blind, but like... I guess it doesn't matter now. I cleared that one because it was a dupe. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, you spent a hundred dollars at my store. I bet you feel fucking amazing. Alright, so hey, almost four thousand dollars. That's not too bad. Uh, enter. Forty-two customers, no complaints. We did restock a lot, but we made almost seven hundred dollars of profit. I didn't pay my rent. Or my electric, apparently. Hmm. Tuna shampoo, tea black. T615. Shampoo. Down two cents. My god. Wow, that's actually a huge drop there for the tuna price. My lord. Uh, management bills? Oh, that sucks, dude. Why would I not pay those bills? What am I, just some sort of not bill payer? And we're open. Be the last day today, for now. Uh, oh, fucking Christ. God damn it. Fuck. I, God damn it. <laughs> I meant to buy... 
fucking license. I meant to buy the license, but I'm an idiot. God fucking damn it. Uh, I can't buy it now, because as soon as I do this, well, this guy will probably be like, you don't have the new item. And be like, okay, thanks, jackass. I mean, like, I wanted to buy it when it was closed so I could see what I needed. Whether it was another fridge, another shelf. I mean, I'm going to need probably both of those. Right? Unless there's only one item that goes in the fridge and they can just go down here. But I'd still need to buy a shelf. Really? You're lucky you're buying a lot. Man. Man. How did I miss that? Mess it up two days in a row? Because you're eating a bagel. That's okay. Way to rat yourself out, Kronos. Yes, I was having a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. You're not wrong. Just biting it every fucking other time. I was stalking stuff, and apparently I just wasn't paying attention because of that. God dang it. <laughs> it's fine. It's not fine. It's really annoying, but it's fine. Hurry up. Both of you. I said you don't need to hurry up. Maybe I'll buy another goddamn self-checkout because I'm just such a smart man. Maybe I'll buy two. Huh? Maybe I'll buy two self-checkouts. Hey, you double my pleasure, double my fun. I don't think that ha that's how that works, but sure. Yeah, honestly, you know, Dev, if you watch these, I don't know, or some, if you, you ever get a chance to see this video, why not give me, I mean, they don't really do it this often anymore. It could be something the store owner could do, or you could hire someone to do it. But if you're probably my age, you probably saw people back in the day, maybe standing outside a store with a sign or dressed up as like a mascot with a sign. Generally speaking, there's a sign involved and they would stand by where people are walking or driving by and be like, hey, come on in. There's a sale or hey, come on in. He's got my family. And then you go and shop, right? That would be cool to have. Give me something to do right now. You could get a checkout, Chronos. I could. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, I could. I want to? I don't know if I want to, but I could. I mean, why get a self a, a checkout when I gotta do the self-checkout for this idiot, right? Actually, that would be a problem. If I was at a checkout and someone's like, I need you to come do my self checkout for me, and, and I had a line, and then there was a line. I don't know if they eventually leave. I would, but maybe that's something that's coming in the future. You look like someone I used to know. I mean, your arms are way super tinier. Like you, like you do a shoulder workout clearly. But you do not work out your arms somehow during that whole process. Actually, what is with your fucking anatomy? You are jacked in the shoulders, but your arms, your legs, your ass, your fucking hips, waist, except for the midsection of your chest, what is going on? How do you just work out your shoulders and nothing else? Being rather judgmental, Cronus. I'm concerned! And impressed, to be quite honest. How do you do a shoulder workout without, at the very least, working out some of your arms? Like the skipping leg day, I can see. Whatever. I don't know why people do that. It makes them look weird. Gronos, I'm just saying. It's just the people that are super jacked but have the tiny noodle legs. It's weird. Kronos, I'm, I'm just it's, I'm not judging. It's just why? Like, I thought the whole point of being jacked was to be jacked, but now you're jacked and kind of have gumby legs. 
I'm gonna end up a red in, aren't I? No, you're not big enough. Uh, okay. Still. Turn on the lights. I'm coming. Why? Why was that a thing? The whole skipping leg day thing. I know. I know. It's like don't skip leg day, but like there were people that truly believed they didn't need to like work out their legs ever. At least it seemed like that, and it was very confusing. My legs are pretty fucking jacked just by carrying my own fat ass around. But, at the same time... Like, even when I had a chance to work out normally, which I really don't, I only got physical therapy bullshit that I gotta do. But, uh... Even when I was working out regularly with weights, I did everything. Not all at once, but... You know, I do arms, chest, back, shoulders one day. Maybe not in that order, and then I would do the other stuff that I wasn't the next day. Then rest, and then repeat. I remember when I was physically strong. <laughs> I'm still physically strong, just in pain most of the time. <laughs> uh, I laugh because I, I can't do anything <laughs> So yeah, the end of the day is coming up. It's actually technically here. We'll uh, we'll finish the day. We'll get the stats, of course. But let me know what you think about putting this on hold for a little bit, for a few more updates, I think. And then uh, yeah, one second, you jackass. Then we can do another simulator. It doesn't have to be the trading card simulator. I know. That one is the more recent one, and apparently, from the last time I checked it out on Steam, uh, it uh, has blown up, apparently. Because when it, when it was first released in Early Access, uh, like, it had like a hundred <laughs> reviews. I checked the other day, and it has thousands. <laughs> thousands of reviews. So I'm assuming a bunch of YouTubers are playing it. That's generally how that goes. But, um... Yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot like this. But with cards and other stuff. There's, it doesn't have to be that game. Could be that uh, arcade simulator. I think I was told that there was like a video game store simulator as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Could do a farm simulator where I just play Stardew Valley. <laughs> I right, fuck, dude. That would be fun. Play the original Harvest Moon on uh, the Nintendo SNES thing on Switch. I own the physical copy of that, actually. Man, that was a good game. I mean, okay, it's... If you go back and play the original Harvest Moon, you definitely go like, Wow, the later Harvest Moons are a lot better. And it's true, right? It's the first of its kind. It's was, I think, actually the first, like, farm simulator. Uh, and, yeah, you can definitely tell that... that it was new, because... the later ones came and were, were, were a lot better. It's not even just a farm simulator, it's just like a... life sim. Farm life sim. I didn't close the store, God damn it. 45 customers, that's pretty good. 55, we somehow, we had more customers, but we, uh, made less profit. Well, you had to pay your bills today, and yeah, that's true, I guess. Shampoo, oh my god, you went back up. 718 for crappy shampoo. Alright, well, yeah, we'll call it here for now, let me know what you think. Um, of course I'm gonna come back and play this uh, at some point. Uh, maybe I'll just keep playing it for a few more until I get more licenses. But we, we've kind of we've kind of hit a wall here, and I feel like progression-wise, and I'm not sure if it's how the game. I know it's the way the game is intended to be right now, but maybe there'll be updates in the future where I can take out advertisements or I can like uh, attract more customers with lower prices, or I can kidnap their families and make them shop here. No? 
Okay. Well, anyways, I'm not, I'm not, it's not the last episode for sure. We'll probably be back. We'll definitely be back at some point. We might even be back with this the next episode. But, yeah, I might be interested in trying out a different simulator for a little bit. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.